there, this is Alan, and I am currently in Riverside, Iowa. And we were talking about the Shatner thing in Riverside. And... Have you guys done this type of stuff before? Uh, yeah, we'll check off chocolate and the Romulan raspberry and the bulk of vanilla and we did all that. <laughs> Now we've wandered away from all the activity down by the park and made it to Murphy's Bar and Grill, future home of the Shipyard Bar in the year 2258. you got to watch the new Star Trek movie, then you'll see. Now, this town already lays claim to being the future birthplace of Captain James T. Kirk. What a guy! Which is right down the way behind a little uh, house there, a little shrine to set up marking the spot. But here at Murphy's Bar and Grill, there's a special plaque for something that will happen. Let's go take a look. It's uh, down this way, over here to the, the pool room. Okay, here it is. This is the pool room here in the back, and this is a pool table. It, it can come, come over here. It's like too, too close. All right, come here. Okay, so we've got a pool table. We get, hello, can you see me? Okay, so we've got a pool table, and then below here, right below the pool table, is a little plaque. Now, it's dark, so I can't really show it to you, but it says, well, I'll just show you what it says. Captain James T. Kirk conceived at this point on June 22nd, 22, 27. And, and, and of course, what bar in a small town in Iowa is complete without Picard, Captain James T. Kirk. <laughs> what a guy! So this bar actually does have a couple of Star Trek references to tie into the future history of Riverside. Number one, we've got the plaque, we've got some Star Trek stuff hanging up, we've got the shipyard banner up at the front, and there's even a Star Trek model sitting up hiding on one of the little nooks and crannies. So if you make it to Murphy's Bar and Grill, you can take a look and see. Look, I found somebody that knows what's going on here. What's your name? I'm Jerry Murphy. Hi, Jerry Mur Murphy. Murphy? Yeah. You know, this place is named Murphy's. Yep. Is that you? Yep. Well, give me the history of Murphy's Bar and Grill. How long has it been here? Uh, opened up in December 18th, uh, in 95. Okay. Wow. So this is, uh, wow. I got to do math there, but that's longer than 10 years. Well, we're, we're almost at 15. We're working on 15. Okay. Um, the quick story behind the plaque. Okay. All right, let's just get right to that. Is, uh, I was in here before we opened up, cleaning up, and my brother Joe came in, and we were talking about the Shatner thing in Riverside, and he just started smiling, he goes, I'm, I know what I'm going to do. Well, about two weeks later, he walks in, the pool table used to be over in the middle over there. Sure. He walks down, all of a sudden he just drilled one, he drilled the plaque right under, underneath the middle of the pool table. Oh, so that used, the pool table used to be directly over it? Yeah. Okay. Right in the middle, so... After you know, word started getting around about this plaque, uh, people would be taking pictures of it, but they'd be lying. Uh, it was just hilarious. <laughs> they'd be underneath the pool table, going like that. So then, when uh, Invasion Iowa came, mm -hmm. uh, I moved the plaque. It was just right on the wall there. Okay. So people could. Sure, sure. I had to get it up off the floor because we had to move everything around for the, the filming. And, was uh, was the screening room over here this, somewhere? This was it. We're in the screening room from Invasion Iowa. Uh, this is so cool. The tape is gone, but for the longest time we had the tape on the floor of where Shatner had to stand. Wow. But, uh, wow. Uh, 